Congratulations are in order. Last year, the Midnight Swinger comedian David Scott set a new Guinness World Record for the longest stand-up show by an individual. Uh, there's proof. He there's was proof. on stage for an incredible 40 hours and 8 minutes. That's an entire work week for most of us. Yeah, Swinger's back in Omaha. Good to see you again. <laughs> Brian goes like this. 40 hours, <laughs> yeah, give or take 20. <laughs> no, it's funny because no. I only work 20 hours a week. That's what <laughs> okay, I'm first of all, work is a very liberal term for you. All right. Yeah, absolutely. It's like I work about 20 minutes a week. I'm around for <clears throat> 19 hours and 40 other minutes. How That's you, amazing. What was the previous record so we could appreciate what you 40 did, hours. 40 hours, so yeah. you were like by I, eight minutes. By eight minutes. How did you last that long on stage? I, I'm not being flippant about this. It was all ego. At, at a certain point, I invested so much time and energy that if I had walked off stage, it would have been a complete waste of time. Because if you don't break the record, no one cares. Mm. So ego is what, it, it, truly ego is what kept me going. Because I had so many people, had family, people flying in, people had come from hundreds, thousands of miles, had fans. I did it in Dubuque, Iowa at the Diamond Joe Casino, and I had people coming in from Florida, from Denver, from New York, and, you know, and they weren't going to be there until like the second half. They weren't going to be there for the first 24 hours, be there for the second. The first 24 yeah. hours. That leads me to my question. Did any audience members break the record for being in the audience? No, there, there was one, one woman stayed for the first 12 hours, oh, which was very impressive. And then she went home and she came back for like the last eight. <laughs> So did you take any restroom breaks with the yeah, physics yeah, you, of it all? Yeah, you got a five-minute break every hour, mm -hmm. and five minutes is not long at all. I know people who like watching TV go, this commercial is lasting forever. For five minutes is no time at all. Did you recycle material, or was it all I did. I did, did, did 11 or, I, can't, I think I did 11 and a half hours before repeating my first joke. Uh -huh. And then wow. you, got, you could not repeat a joke until every four hours. So at 12 o'clock, you tell a joke. <laughs> you can tell a joke at 4 o'clock again. And if you repeat the joke before the four hours, then the or attempt was nullified. You had to hold the microphone the entire time. You oh couldn't put it in a gosh. mic stand. You couldn't use a, like a lapel mic. You had to hold the microphone in one hand the entire so time. So there's physical uh -huh. activity involved. Oh, in I, had, I had a rule book about this thick. So who on, who on, writes it? Is it Guinness? Guinness. They write all those yeah. rules. And they changed the rules between the first person who had set the record and my record. There was a change. The rules changed on to make it harder to break the record. Wow. It had to be recorded. <clears throat> There was a live stream so that Guinness could watch. This we had is not, crazy. We had over 900 people watching the live stream. Uh, people were chatting with me while I was performing. Yeah. Um, I had a whole team uh, monitoring <laughs> the crowd. We had That's to a have, big thing. We had to have an, in, an international notary republic uh, uh, there. We had to have things sent off. We had to have, we had to have uh, licenses and testimonials and people admitting that, yeah, we were there for the whole time, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Yeah. So, and then when they finally, it, it took about a month for them to uh, to uh, certify the record, and then you saw the we um, have the certificate. The certificate. That so. is so cool. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank well you. I, done. At, at the moment, I'm the only one in the world who has that credit. No one can make that claim except for me. That is cool. Everybody can say I've been on HBO, CBS, uh -huh. but I'm the only one that can claim to be a Guinness World Record. Anything holder. else new? I feel bad even asking the question because that was yeah, because that's like, pretty that's not using, enough. You using know? a new hairspray. <laughs> Um, oh, that was going to yeah. be my question. Did your uh, hair uh, clearly, up? I've got a new suit. I wear this suit, <laughs> Omaha, a very special. Can, can, where are we? Are we on camera? Right th here. Was this three? This three? <laughs> Let me tell you something. The reason I wear this suit is because Robin Thicke ruined this suit <laughs> for everybody. What? This is a Beetlejuice suit, all right? <laughs> I'm happy. I'm feeling really good about myself, all right? All right? And that's why I won't do two shows tonight. I won't, I won't do it. And Robin Thicke wore suits similar to this uh -huh. on the VMAs and ruined it. And I want the world to know this is a Beetlejuice suit. I'm bringing the Beetlejuice back. Respect the Beetlejuice. Your throwback. How did you decide that's the sort of entertainer that you wanted? Because yeah. when people see you walk in the room and they're not familiar with you, they go, what is this guy wearing? You've got you a know? kid coming up in a few minutes yeah. who plays guitar. He's incredible. Who was playing this guitar. He looked up at me. Shook his head <laughs> and started playing Eruption. You know, yeah. and it's it's like going. He looked at his dad. And his dad knew exactly what I was doing. Yeah. And the kids like going, "You old people, just <laughs> so stupid, so stupid and old." Let me play this song. Let me show you what real talent is, there, right. comedian. <laughs> what is what is throwback? I mean, he obviously he's too young to know. I mean, is it throwback to the Vegas? Yeah. The 70s? Well, it, 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 well, not even the seventies, the sixties. You oh, see, okay. I believe. I believe comedy entertainment should be about that, just that, 
entertaining. I don't think I should be preaching to you. I don't think I should be trying to change your opinion. I shouldn't be talking about politics. I shouldn't be telling you why this law is bad or this law is good. You come to a show to be entertained, to forget about the ills for an hour and a half. Just come to a show and laugh. And that's what the Rat Pack did. Mm -hmm. Rat Pack, Frank, Dean, Sammy, mm -hmm. they entertained, they sang, they danced, they did impressions. I sing, I dance, that's I do yeah. impressions. Uh, I do comedy as well, but it's not just comedy. It is a show. I've yeah. never called myself a comedian. I've always thought of myself as a showman entertainer because my job is to entertain. You're in a bad mood. You had a bad week. Work isn't going good. You don't want to have some guy on stage telling you why Obama sucks or why the Republicans suck, whatever. It doesn't really matter. That's not our job. Our job is to make you mm -hmm. entertain. I don't want to walk the audience. I don't want you to be upset. I don't want to try. My goal is not to see how many people I can piss off. My goal is to see how many people I can, at yeah. the end of the show, get up, standing on their feet, dancing along. And say they're so glad they saw you. Yeah, exactly. That number there, that's uh, where you can get that's tickets. That's my home number. That's what? <laughs> that's, we we <laughs> call it the bone You bone. did way too much <laughs> research. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a couple of shows tonight, a couple of shows tomorrow. You can also get your tickets online if you'd rather not talk to a human being. That's uh, FunnyBoneOmaha.com. <laughs> Just call me. I'm on, <laughs> I'm on Twitter. <laughs> I'm on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, You're Twitter's not hard to find. Swinger Nation. Nice it's, website, too. Thank you. It's very nice. It's yeah. very and Active. The we gotta midnight go. swing. I know you gotta go. Five, three, Thank two. you. Thank you. So last month, Aiden Fisher brought a crowd of 3,000 to its feet. <laughs> At this story behind this performance and the guitar whiz will perform live for us in less than three minutes.